Hi guys, my name is Wayne Snema, I'm a 20k race walker and I'm going to the Olympics. My journey started when I was very young, I think 16 or 17 years old. Uh, I came back from an injury, actually hurdles injury, and uh, I had to rehab my hamstring. And uh, during that process, the doctor advised me, or the physio advised me to start walking, do race walking. And during that process, I actually started training with the longer distance guys. And um, in the next event, there was an event in Potterstrom, which I competed on the 3,000 3, meter race walk. And the same night, I won the 110 hurdles and the 3,000 meter race walk. So that's where my journey started as a race walker. Um, I think more or less the age of 16. If you look at my body type, I'm a very lean athlete. Uh, I'm not a two meters, 120K monster. So I think I had to go in more of a long distance uh, shape, but I, I kind of long, uh, enjoyed the long distance. I ran cross country, the duathlon, triathlons as well. And uh, I really enjoyed the long distances. So the race walking suited me quite well. My technique was a very natural form of technique. So. For me, walking never felt uncomfortable, so everything improved as I, as I got older and stronger and um, I actually started choosing my race walking career when I was 18. I think that's when my first sponsorship was signed and when I got to university, everything just uh, went good from there. I'm currently in a heat room, trying to train and trying to adapt to conditions. I'm trying to create the humidity, I'm trying to create the heat. I'm literally in a room now, secluded with no air, <laughs> going in flow and uh, the, the the heat is on at maximum 30, the humidifier is pumping as hard as it possibly can and I'm going to do 6 to 8 to 10 k's every now and then I'm trying to get to, trying to breathe in that hard air and just make sure that, that I adapt to the situations when, when I get there I know that I didn't leave any stone unturned um, I don't want to go there with the mindset what if um, I literally tried everything, I made everything a positive and literally every single situation they gave us I spun it and beat create, uh, got creative made it my own and, and got training done, that's it. The sacrifices the last five years have been, been really, really hard. Um, I actually work as a full-time teacher, so some of the years that I think 2019, I, I worked full-time and trained full-time, which was absolutely so tough. Um, I had to wake up every morning at 3.30, wake up, train from four to six, then go to school from seven to two, pick up my son, uh, try to stay awake from, four to, uh, from two to four, train from four to seven again and then go to the gym. So days got pretty long. Some days I, I, I literally fell asleep but, but just after seven. Coaches, local coaches started supporting me. They came in, coming out to my training session, supporting me of giving me water, riding with bikes. Um, local runners, local walkers are coming up, um, asking how they can support me. The, um, the Tumisangs, the Tumzis, the Antonios, the younger, the younger generation that's really coming up to play. Even uh, Marisa, as I, as I jog some of you from my sessions, my time trials, so that's been phenomenal how they just uh, come out in power and even some people on the streets, they know, they know that we are going to the Olympics, they, they give us short uh, bits of motivation just to get going or, or we're supporting you, or we're behind you, we're behind you, it's, 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 it's been phenomenal. So building up in South Africa or Pretoria has not been bad at all, um, the, the altitude here is pretty good, we're not doing it just for ourselves, we're doing it to show the world that listen, everything is possible at this stage, yes it was difficult times but we've managed to literally still go out and still give it our best. That's what we do as South Africans. We literally, we stand together and we just get stronger and stronger and stronger and I think that is phenomenal.